Welcome everyone. This is Nichelle Anderson. I'm your host for my podcast show, Nichelle Anderson Short Stories and Beyond. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm just going to change it a bit and basically just say I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, I am so grateful for the greater good of God, of blessing me, of having this podcast show, and I will use that ability and platform to help heal, inform, inspire, and motivate those that are listening. All right, so with that done and said, let's get started. So today, I'm just going to really keep it uh, short, but um, very um, to the point in a way that you can take something away, you know, take something away from today. And wrapping up 2020, I will have to say that it's been very hard for a lot of people, including myself, going through the different things that I never would have thought <laughs> um, starting this year. And I have heard the same from other people, like they were ready for the next year. So I'm not sure what happened or, you know, what the whole um, element of that, that is so many people are saying the same thing. So I wanted to kind of focus on just three that I'm broadcasting the same podcast on both of my podcast shows today. So on my other podcast show, I'm not really, <laughs> you know, I'm not really having um, any short stories. It's just a reflection of life because my Nichelle Anderson short stories and beyond this particular show is is focusing on that of bringing stories to life. Showing how we interact as humans and how the whole world involved. Am I surviving my journey? Surviving your journey to a success. Focus on the life choices that we engage in or we somehow pull into. And how we can get out of that. Remove the toxicity and have the life that we deserve. The life that we wanted. Okay. So the top things, the top takeaways this year that I want to share is number one. I learn. <laughs> be ready for the unexpected. How? I feel that you need to trust in your foundation that provides you peace, knowing, self-esteem to move forward. I'm going to break that up before I move to number two. And what I mean by trusting your foundation when, when we are engaged in things that we don't know why it started. It's wacko, it's, you know, like, what the heck is that? We have to go back to the root of the foundation of what we know of how things process. And that will provide the peace. Sometimes it's fragments. And when I say that, maybe it's, for example, a friend that you had friendship for years and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it's no more. Maybe it's the... The place that you always go and meet up with other people and they closed out and no longer there. It takes away the normalcy of the pattern of us to be able to get up and know that what we left it as before we went to sleep and then we back up and to experience it is no more. That we just have to go to that center place that gives us the foundation of knowing that we're okay. Everybody wants to feel that they're okay, they're safe. That the continuing of their life experience is ongoing. And it kind of gets shaky, especially for this year when everything was kind of like, what? You know, and we have to readjust the normal before this year. So you have to find the foundation of when you think of that, when you see that. It could be a picture, it could be a photograph, it can be a song, it can be a phrase, it can be a quote. That's the part of the foundation, the anchor. Okay, the anchor that you need to be able to say, I can hold on to this. And this is the continue the continuation of what you know, what you remember. That's important because that gives you the self-esteem for you to move forward. So it could be a charm or any type of anything that brings you peace of a memory before 2020 helps, believe it or not. Number two, always know there's always know there's a tomorrow. So what I experienced this year in 2020 was that eventually this is going to stop. 
Eventually, this day would start over and I get a new day to create a new reality. Now, that reality is based on my choices. That reality is based on, of course, other people in the mix. But at the end of the day, we all were born with the will to choose. And so, even though at that moment, you have other players at play controlling this or that, because even if you have to, you have to interact with them, eventually it's going to end. Because that's universe, that's, that's life, that's, you know. And... To know that tomorrow is just over the horizon will reinstate your peace that you're getting in step one that I mentioned of trust in your foundation that provides you peace, knowing, self-esteem to move forward. So when you get to number two of my point, I'm saying always know there is a tomorrow. I mean, it's another day to create. It's another day for hope. It's hope. Hope to me. It's the string of life that you hold on to and you find your peace. When you find your peace, you let go of the negativity and the confusion and you hold on to tomorrow because that's over the horizon. Number three, what we didn't understand to the unknown that occurred this year that changed our perspective that we all had to say, come on. What is this? What is that? Are you serious? This couldn't have happened. I'm like, oh my goodness. Is this real? We all said it. Maybe we said it in a different language because I know I have listeners from all over the world. And I have to share something with you. In my heart, my heart just bloomed. I felt it in my spirit when I just said that. Talking about what we all said. I felt the community of our spirit. (laughs) Just talking about. I know some of these words were said. (laughs) Oh that feels good. Which is a lot. Based on what the heck I've been through in 2020. And I know you could tell me stories as well. So. With that done and said. We have to be true to say. That even though we experienced this, or even though we saw or witnessed someone else experience that, it would lead us to know that something bigger is coming. Something bigger is coming. It has to. Because technically, we went all the way by bottom to hell. You got to be real with this. So we either got to get back up. Something bigger have to bring us back up to the top of what humanity, what the experiment was for. It definitely wasn't for this. Because we can say, I can't see nothing growing. Is this, is this, what? Who? When? Come on. So, just saying all that, y'all, took a lot of energy. Toxicity. Confusion. Tiredness. You're tired. And what you see that was before is not anymore can shake your foundation. So I'm not going to make this podcast long. So I want you to be able to listen to it, be motivated, recreate, lead forward, motivate someone else, inspire, wipe the tears, shake your head after that confusion and say, it is another day tomorrow. I'm going to keep moving. I don't understand this, but I know something got to go. Something got to bring us back up as a collective. Because we deserve peace. We deserve to be loved. We deserve to be feeling comfortable. (laughs) We deserve to be able to provide for our family. We deserve to be healthy. We deserve to be understanding. So I don't know how it got to this point. It is what it is. But I do know that in order for life to move forward, something has to bring us out of the abyss of hell, of confusion, of restrictiveness. And so we can all enjoy the holidays and enjoy the future holidays and enjoy the future days and hours and traveling and seeing life and seeing how Mother Earth recreates itself. It got to. Because nothing grows if there's no foundation and our foundation has been ripped from us. 
for some reason. Maybe it's a process that we have to go through. Maybe this whole change and what we see that we have to live differently, what have you, for the better and to restrict the social um, interaction is for a purpose for us to get back to where we are. I see that. I can understand that. What I'm talking about is the emotional health, the mental health, the spiritual health. A lot of us took a lot of blows. We lost a lot. We deserve to get that back because that's the balance of life. So I'm releasing this on both of my podcasts today. I had a another um, option to release. I said, no, let me go ahead and do it. And that's what I'm doing today. So this is raw. I don't really have much notes. I just had those three points that I wrote down to talk to those that are following me and following others. Because we got to follow each other, right? Until we get to the reality we deserve and we wish to have. And all of that always come back that our souls That our souls deserve mental peace. That our souls deserve to be loved and cared for. That our souls deserve to understand what is this? How can we fix it to move forward? No more confusion. No more delays. No more delays in the peace that we deserve. We deserve to commune with all others that might not look the same as we do. That's the diversity. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, It is our souls that identify who we are. And if you're with the collective, the humanity to move forward, you will say, I agree. We, not I, we deserve. Mental peace to create and go and experience bold new frontiers that divine our purpose. We deserve to use the choices that we are granted when we were born in this life. We deserve. And it is given to us. It should not be stolen. It should be given. So I wish everyone a happy new year to 2021. 2020 came in and knocked all of us out in the sense of what? So we back up. And we're looking at that. But we're looking forward. To the new year. Because we know Mother Earth is tired. We know the universe is tired. And we want to have mental peace. Now for me how I ended. I say amen. Or I say. If I'm referencing my mitzvah book. (laughs) But at the end of the day. I love you for supporting me. Thank you for that moment. Sometimes it get emotional up in here. That's the spirit of the goodness that's moving forward. And I hope for the best, whatever you've been through. I'm sorry you've been through some things this year. But I'm grateful and glad that you made it through when you got back up. And you're moving along. So was I. I am too. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. 
I don't know what next year I was going to start off. I do know something else was going to actually happen. It's going to be a new day. January the 1st, 2021. That's a brand new day, brand new year, brand new opportunity. And I'm looking forward to it. And what happened this year is a notation of what number one was. Be ready for the unexpected. Your breakthrough is right over the horizon. Number two. There is a tomorrow. That's why. And number three. We will understand the unknown. Once we choose to move forward. Now I just broke that down that way. Live. I have no other notes. I just wrote. This is pretty much going to be the title for the podcast for both of my shows. And I wrote down one, two, and three. I sat down and I wrote it. Now I'm going live recording it, looking at the points. People that know to do presentation, you're doing an outline. What I just said and broke that down, I need you to replay this. That part. If you have time, replay it. When I pause and I got emotional. Because that's coming from spirit and that means that the universe wants you to hear that. And if you have time, you send this to somebody else that you know that can benefit from it. It's not about telling people or whatever, whatever, you try to increase nothing. Who you feel in your heart that can needs to hear it. And I hope they're able to hear it with an open heart. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you for supporting me this year. I appreciate you. And we're looking forward to 2021. And with that, I say, amen. I say, thank you.